Oh, it looks like we've arrived, y'all. Nice. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Have you noticed, Argon? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Greyfish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters is as, t it is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of? Whatever the reason, if the night does not end, then we need not worry about the pri pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak to Jaboon after you do. Thanks, dude. That's a nice little sentiment of you. You know where my priorities lie, because I want to go talk to my granny. I haven't seen her in so long, dude. Might as well. I don't know. I, maybe I should end off this recording session here before even doing anything. Because, uh... I'm up to over an hour, and I probably have enough for a few videos here. I do want to check. Uh-oh. What's with the sad music, man? Oh, no. What's up, Granny? I'm, I'm back. Argon, Errol, don't go. Don't leave uh, your poor old grandma all alone. Uh. Aww. Is she, she must be sick. Oh, look at her. She's... Oh, God. And I feel so bad for leaving her. I mean, she seemed fine with it, but... Well, you know what? Maybe we can, uh... Do something about this for her. Come on, fairy. Yay! The first time I, th I even thought to do that... I did actually figure out to do this on my own. I managed to figure out that you need to use a fairy on her to heal her. <sighs> and I thought... I was, so, I was so sure that I had to do that, but... Then I was so weird... So scared because I saw the fairy going around me first, but then it comes down on her. Grandma is always happy to see your bright shining face. Argon, my dear sweet Argon, you're safe. That's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Ariel are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. Oh, come on, it's not your fault. If it, if anything, it's my fault. I shouldn't have left you like this. Should have had a more proper goodbye. Should have at least said a word. God damn it, Link. Why do you have to be so mute? All right, this is all I can give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. Here we go. Oh yes, we got Lixa soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all of your life power, life, life energy, and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. God damn. And your kind old grandmother has filled the bottle so full that there's two health things inside. Isn't she the sweetest? That's amazing right there. That that pretty much breaks this game right there, I can tell you that. You and your sister love the soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you try to be strong too. I promise, don't you worry. But don't do anything reckless. Uh, yeah, I won't try to shoot Wizrobes with my cannon or anything, don't worry. I'm not that stupid. Alright. Yes, yeah, so the only real downside of the elixir soup is that you can only have one bottle of it at a time. But you can come back and get some more anytime you like, so, uh... And it's, all, it's always, like, free. It's not like your grandma's gonna charge you for it or anything. Which would be really funny, but... Um, let's see. Is there anything else I can do right now? Actually, I guess I can go check on, uh... These people up here. I brought the pigs to them before, remember? I'll see how they're doing. Uh-oh. Looks like this pig ate the other ones. Oh, no! Uh, they're probably asleep up there anyways. I don't really need to check that out right now. But that pig will be important for something for something later on. I can't quite do it right now. I was going to make a note of something too. I don't remember what it is now. Um. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh my god, I just thought of this. Okay, so as long as I'm here, there is one thing that uh you can do with the tingle tuner while you're here. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Oh, it's not powered on yet. There we go. Now it should work. Oh, and also something I should make mention of for those Nintendo Gallery followers while I'm waiting for this to load, is that if you take a picture of a, of your grandma and then take it back to the Nintendo Gallery, uh, you'll get a fig and he'll make the figurine of grandma, obviously, and he'll also make a figurine of Errol, because there's no other way to get a picture of Errol in this game, so um, that's what you gotta do for that one. It's just one of those ones that's kind of like Quill with the Rio Chieftain. Alright, so let me see here. Uh... Yeah, so we're on outset of Highland, so... If I'm, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to remember exactly how you're supposed to do this, because I know there's a way to do something on outset Island here. I'm just trying to remember exactly what you gotta do. Alright, so maybe I just have to walk around for a little bit and wait for uh, Tingle to, do, to say something. I don't even know. He's making a funny little noise right now, though, because of the monsters nearby. That's hilarious. 
He's going like wah wah wah. Wait, what is what's he saying? There you are. Knuckle? It's Knuckle. I was so worried about you. Yeah, this is Tingle talking by the way. I'm gonna get this one here. Uh, wait, get it, get it. No, get it. Er, er, there we go. Okay, let's see. And now it's Knuckle talking. Don't play dumb. Why did you do it on, on Tingle Tower? I built that thing. What? For that that four Tingle only sign I wrote? <laughs> Sorry. Please forgive me. Hmm. Well, I might consider it if the fairy will do as I ask. Mr. Fairy, can you get to that outdoor bath? Can you get in that outdoor bath? Just don't open any doors before you finish doing what I tell you. You'll fail if you do. Mr. Fairy, please help. Please do what my brother says. His brother? Oh my god. I forgot Knuckle was Tingle's I thought they were just like compadres or something like you know like kind of like David Jr. and Ankle with Tingle. I don't think they're related. I think they just kind of work together because they look similar. Alright so here's the outdoor bath I think. Should be right. Hmm. Now let's test you further. Next go down the ladder that go that no one uses. The ladder that no one uses. I've got an inclination of which one that is. I haven't done this in this is actually only about the second time I've done this in my life, so uh, pardon me if this takes a little while to figure out. But I'm pretty sure I remember what this is. I, I at least remember that it's on this side of the island, across this part of the bridge. Gotta get rid of these freaking chew jellies. Oh man, did I actually kill all three of them in, like, just a few seconds there? Normally that doesn't happen, because normally one of them uh, dissipates into, like, a little puddle of goo. And then you have to, like, wait for it to come back out. Alright, yeah, so the ladder that no one uses, I think it's this one, not the one that leads up to the treehouse, but this one here. Yes, perfect, okay, let me see. Um, shoot, nice work. Next, can you climb onto the biggest rock at the top of the hill? You got it, man, I'm heading up there anyways, because there is, uh, according to the merman from the last island that we checked, there is a great fairy up there, so we'll be heading up in that direction regardless of what we do. Unfortunately, I think there is something kind of nasty on the way up there in terms of enemies. I'm not sure if these guys will appear here quite yet, but I'm willing to bet that they will. Yep! Oh my god, I was waiting to hear that sound. That's why I was going all quiet there and stuff. You guys, these are the most annoying little things ever. They only do like a quarter hard damage at a time. There's so many of them. And they're just such a pain in the ass. Now get out of here, dude. The savvy with the little tridents. Anyone who's played this game is to can tell you that. Once that you once you hear that little da sound that they make, it's like you know you're in for just the most annoying fight of your life. All right, what? Who's saying? Uh, Miss. Oh, Tingle's saying something. Mr. Fairy, fly from here with the deco leaf to get to that rock. Remember to change the direction of the wind. Yeah, we don't need to do that quite yet. Don't worry, bro. We do have the telescope man up here. I don't think he was up here before. Anyways, uh, so on the tallest rock. Um, is this not the biggest one? Maybe it's that one. Maybe he means not tallest, but like biggest, as in width or something. There we go. Hmm. Here we go. Congrats. You're pretty good, I must say. Next, try to jump down below the suspension bridge. Do you have that much courage? Uh-oh. Maybe I don't. I guess we're about to find out, though. Yes, yeah, so we gotta jump down the suspension bridge, or the or the lack thereof, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure where you're supposed to land with this. I guess just right here. No, I guess not. Maybe right here. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let me see. Ugh! Enough! Enough! I've lost the I've lost the contest on this island. What can I do? Oh, I'll give you me I'll give you the hand me down, Tingle Tuner. Hell yes. Look, I'm going back home. Mr. Fairy, you're great. You're like my fam. You're like my family. When you come to Tingle Island, I'll call you Argon instead of Mr. Fairy. Yes, thank God! I never have to hear that freaking annoying t title again, Mr. Fairy. Good Lord, he finally learned his lesson. He even realized that it was annoying. All right, and that's all you gotta do with the Tingle Tuner on this island. So, there's the Knuckle Quest done. And next time you actually go up to uh, go wait, next time you go to the Tingle Island, Knuckle will be there. So you can actually go ahead and talk to him in the game, not just on the Tingle Tuner. And the Hand Me Down Tingle Tuner, I'm not exactly sure. What that does, I think it lets you call Knuckle and you can buy stuff from him or something. But, um, it's like a, just a thing that you can use on the Tingle Tuner, kind of like the Tingle Bombs and all that nonsense. Alright, uh, might as well see what this guy's got to say first, I guess. There's no harm. Oh, so close. If only I could fly to the top of that hill. If only beneath the rock head. The what? Oh, no. Oh, no, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It is a secret heart. Yes, quite a secret heart. 
Despite what he says, there's not a heart piece over there. That's actually something for later on. You can't really do that quite yet. You need a, a different item. Alright, yeah, so in order to get into the forest where the Great Fairy actually resides, you're going to need to set up the wind just right so you can glide on over. Let's see. For some reason, I'm kind of tempted to make this whole recording session just one long-ass video. I'm not going to because it's like I'm up to an hour and 16 minutes here, but uh, it's a nice temptation. Alright, there we go. And once inside, uh, yeah, you might have been wondering, well, why couldn't we have done this before when we came here to, like, rescue Tetra and stuff? Like, what was stopping us from doing this before, from seeing the Great Fairy? Well, if you remember, um, uh, oh my god, Mafia, what? Go back to Link to the Past where you belong. Good lord, you don't even belong there, you're so annoying there, too. Get off me, Morph. Alright, yeah, but if you remember last time we came here, uh, I don't know if we read this sign before, but, let me just see. Fairy Fountain Site. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battles with, so the fairy could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever made the great fairy would be blessed with great fortune, so it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. Yep, but as you can see, it's being blocked by this freaking rock. But now that we have bombs, we can watch it go boom! Ow. And now... We've got, we've actually got this fairy fountain open to us, so that's good. And trust me, this is one of the ones that you definitely want to come to. Some of the other great fairies don't actually offer that great of upgrades. Uh, I mean, I'm going to get them all, obviously, but you could easily get through the game without getting pretty much any of them. Except you do need to, it's really recommended to get this one and the one I got before. Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Please do. Before I run, run out of wall space here again, man. Oh boy, I can't believe I'm getting this at long last. I've been waiting for this for so long. You can now carry more rupees. You can carry up to 5,000 rupees. Good God almighty, that's 10 times the Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask standards. And like she says, you can ease your wariness if you come back here, but uh, I don't think I want to come back here at all, really. So there you go. And if you don't have a fairy in your bottle when you come here for, like, the grandma thing, then here's a fairy fountain for you to get to get one. So it's a really nice little thing to come here anyways. Is that a moblin under there? What What in the world? Dude, I thought there was a moblin under that log. It looked like there was one because there was, like, a lamp thing under there, too. Was it just dude, this guy, like, going through the freaking wall? Whatever. Forget you guys. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> or you can kick each other's ass. Sounds like what happened over there. Anyways, like I said, I think uh, next time we're going to have to deal with Jaboon in the back of the island. Because I am just about pooped and I need to go to the washroom really bad. So, um, oh my god! Anyhow. Next time, um... I guess we're going to see Jaboon next time. I know I've been putting it off for so long here with all my guy. But it's about time, so thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.